hi guys so i know i haven't shared this with you or maybe i have on my other social media platforms but i recently moved to dubai to try and find something because well working in kenya has been hectic with all those crazy taxes and uh, i just felt my career wasn't growing so i decided to move and find something different so i'm um, currently here and um it's been a couple of weeks i think it's been about two weeks yeah that i've been here so today what i'm filming is basically a day in my life as a job seeker and uh yeah living in a hostel so i don't know if most of you know about accommodation situation in dubai but let me just give you a brief about it so finding accommodation is like the biggest challenge for a job hunter in uh, Dubai because one thing if you don't have the Emirates ID you're not able to do the normal leasing of apartments so you're left with very few options so one of the options are hostels which are quite pricey to be honest so like this one that I'm staying at I'm paying uh, 2400 and that's after getting a discount that's about almost ninety thousand kenya shillings yeah for a mom which is very very expensive so yeah the other option is uh, a bed space and um, let me just try and find a video and insert it here to show you guys how it looks like but it's not i i didn't like it i went there i saw a few and uh I just didn't like it they were not something that i could stand considering the stress that really you have when you during all this process moving and trying to find something else and adapting to a new environment you don't want to have another stress of uh, accommodation or like where you're living to be stressful i didn't want to have that yeah so i'm just going to show you how my typical day is yeah after waking up so mostly i wake up late because i stay up late i find it easier to concentrate at night and to do things in the night so last night, night i slept very late and i've just woken up and uh, let's get my day started so first let me show you this is my bed so the beds have this pattern thing for privacy and i have some shelves there to just store my things yes so um after waking up i'm just i've just ironed my the outfit that i'm going to be having today then i'll go in and shower so the thing also with this place you don't have the freedom to dress whatever you want so you have to do everything in the bathroom so I'm, i just carry my clothes and everything to the bathroom and dress in there but one thing that i love about this place is the views like look at the views the views are very beautiful so after dressing up i'm going to maybe try and find something to eat then my day starts from then So this is the bathroom situation that we share the bathroom with uh, other people in the house as well we have uh three bathrooms in this house so they're all shared and some people are so messy so we got to have some rules to just put everybody in check showered and dressed and ready to start the day the bathroom is not too nice so you take the least amount of time in there i just shower really quickly and get out also using dettol helps a lot so i just set up to sit down and do my applications but before i do that i need to get something to eat so i'm going to have uh, my leftovers from yesterday so this is uh, i don't know how to call it salad maybe it has cucumber and yogurt and uh, black pepper then i'm going to have also leftover chicken that i had the other day and some bread once 
one of the housemates, a Nigerian guy, helped me make the chicken, explains all the oil, but it was so yummy, I enjoyed it. And then after that, I watched TV, I did some applications and I watched TV. I had missed watching TV, it's been a while since I like just sat down to relax, so I did relax for about an hour or two. Then I had to step out, I needed to go buy something for dinner, that's me on my PUD runs, stepping out. I really like walking out here at night and this was about 10 p.m. so it's very safe you can go out anytime. I used to walk around with a uh, breeze and pressure so I'm going downstairs I'm going to the supermarket just across the street to get uh, something to eat maybe noodles I, mean, I don't know something light because I don't feel like cooking and I don't feel like eating anything heavy right now. It feels so good to step out for a walk. Staying inside can make you go crazy. Yeah. If you stay in the house for too long, you'll start losing your head. So I just like going out for a walk sometimes. And uh, this is what I bought. Yeah. So I'm just going to make some and then continue watching the movie that I was watching. Then back to my applications and then sleep maybe at around 3. My food is ready. Look at how yummy the Indomie looks. So I was just complaining that why is it that in my country, why is it that in Kenya, we get something different. So the bumbu sauce comes with uh, the, the regular bumbu sauce in chili and then it has these three additional oils, seasoning oil, it has some um, soy sauce and uh, chili oil as well. I don't know what that is. Yeah, which is really nice. Hi guys. So I am going for a festival in Dubai. It's a music festival. I was invited by one of my friends, one of the housemates. Yeah, and I think it's going to be fun. So you see all these people who are here, they're going for the festival. Yeah. I've never, it's a, I, I can't remember the name of the festival, but it's one of these popular ones. You see the ones that you see on TV? The ones that people book prior, it's one of those. So I'll keep you guys updated. The organization of this event made me feel like Tasca Oktoberfest is usually a joke or like the events we have in Kenya are all a joke. I mean, look at this venue. The venue was so well organized. There were plenty of toilets and all the toilets were clean. There were so many fun activities. And let me tell you, the, uh, the artist list, oh my goodness, there was the wedding far, there was all this amazing DJ. I'm just not a music person, but you can name them like you. And people love to buy uh, and told and you see the, all the playlist, not the playlist, you see all the guests that were invited. I'm feeling it was so amazing, it was so much fun. I ended up using my housemate who had gone, but then ended 
up with another batch of crazy friends, people that I'm happy that I met. And we had so much fun, so we hung out for the rest of the night and then I got a train back home and it was now me in bed later that night. This was like 5 a.m. when I got back to the house. So Dubai is crazy, we opened my bed. So many friends, so many friends. And of all, we will have fun. Don't